A man says, we're trying to get cleaning and trucking contracts, how to get better at filling out. There are cleaning contracts galore that, I mean, there's so many cleaning contracts out here. Really, if I were in the cleaning contract space, I would get registered with my local state, I'd, my local municipality, and, you know, just price them, like just basically bid them. There's really nothing strategic about it in terms of cleaning contracts. They're everywhere. They're plentiful. I know people who are turning down cleaning contracts. In fact, you know, someone in our group, they turn down cleaning contracts. There's too many for them to handle. I have a student of mine that's here in the Miami-Dade Broward area that he's doing cleaning contracts for Miami-Dade County. They're plentiful. I really believe that if you are in the cleaning industry, you just literally have to get registered and start talking to people within your local municipality or the municipalities around you and the local states. And they're looking for people really bad. They're desperate for cleaning contracts. I mean, everyone has to get their stuff clean. You know, the guys we met with today, they are cleaning hotels and facilities. Like, So cleaning contracts to me are like really easy, really easy to get right now. They're almost like the PPE contracts that they were given out three months ago. All right, so again, let's. he's saying, what, my area is freight. My wife is clean. What suggestions on that kind of field? We read it, and it's kind of crazy. We'd like to know where to get more information. So I kind of just answered that question, which is like, you know, hey, register with your local, state, city, municipality. Get on some of the bidders list. Sign up for, I, I forgot the one we had, Bid Sync or Bid. Some of those. Marie, do you know the ones that we have, the bid ones that we get every week? We bought, I bought one of those bidding services like Bid Sync or bid something and they send us a lot of like cleaning ppe whatever kind of stuff we get that all the time so for cleaning contracts you shouldn't have a problem i mean honestly i think all you have to do is literally show up and and ask and and people will give you contracts and i never say that about anything but i've seen it in cleaning i've seen the need is so great that they're begging people to come do this once a set aside solicitation has passed could you still provide RFQ to the contracting officer? Nope. If it's gone, it's gone. There you go. Bid sync. There you go. Maria answered it. Bid sync. Yeah, bid sync. So, yeah, bid sync is a place to do it. Um, can we help you? Yeah, we actually... Maria... Maria and I are working on the uh, coaching program where we're, you know, we'll be helping people out, which is not quite finished yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So, hey, Nikki, what I did to Maria? She told leave Maria alone. What I did? That's messed up. I didn't do nothing to her. So, yeah, but we're working on trucking with us for life. Message us. In fact, Message us here at GovCon Giants. Just DM us, and then we'll keep you in the loop when we have this thing wrapped up. We're working on it, I promise you. We're like, a lot of people are asking for this stuff. All right. I registered for Sam today. How long do I have to wait to get approved? I think the last time when we got registered, my joint venture partner, it was six weeks. Yeah, but just because your registration is not approved doesn't mean you can't start doing all the activities you need to put yourself in a position to land contracts. I would not wait for my Sam to start marketing my business. D, I'm ready for the coaching. Okay, my man says, how do you develop a calendar so you can forecast where to start building relationships? I'm trying to understand that question. How do you develop a calendar so you can forecast where to start building relationships? Well, I think, I don't know about this calendar that you're asking, but there's a couple places where you can learn it. Obviously, you know, we teach it. I don't know what the hell happened. Some noise happened in the background. So where to start building relationships? We have some content publicly available on YouTube that talks about it. Also, I remember reading it in Judy Bratt's book. I can't think of the name of her book, but Judy Bratt, J-U-D-Y-B-R-A-D-T. 
Her book talks about the nine people that you want to know in government, do business with. You can find it on Amazon. She's got a place that talks about that. We talk about it on YouTube. We talk about it in the course. So, I mean, in terms of a calendar, we don't really have a calendar for it, but we do have the people that you need to know and talk to that will take you from one you know, one step to the next step to the other. So we do have that uh, available publicly, like everywhere. And again, I know, because it comes to my mind, Judy Bratt has a section in her book that says, these are the nine people that you need to talk to. Definitely, can you, can someone look it up to see what, what's the name of her book? I can't remember it now, but it's really good. So, yeah. No, I know I said start building relationships, right. So your question is with whom, right? I guess I just don't understand how does a calendar relate to that. That's just my point. But again, I'm telling you, on YouTube, we talked about does the government buy what I sell? And Judy Bratt's book, we talk about, or she talks about the nine people that you need to be, there you go, contracts made easier, the nine people that you need to know in the government contracting space. And I think that's kind of what you're asking. All right, so what should I be doing so I get approved? Relationships, relationships, relationships. Until you get improved in SAM, I would, a couple things. One is, you know, going back to what Maria put on the screen, right? Maria, can you put those five things that we just talked about back on the screen, please? So what I would do is these five activities that we just listed on here and learning contracting, right? Making sure your team is together. How do you do that? Look up some existing outstanding contracts for, in your particular arena. See if you have all of the qualifications, right? Make sure that you do. If you don't, find out who you need to bring on, partner, team member, whatever case may be, to help you offset where you're lacking so that then you have a strong team. If there's capabilities, make sure you acquire those capabilities in some shape, form, or fashion. And then at that point, you can start reaching out to people. However, I will tell you this. This, because it's the end of the fiscal year, this is not the time to build relationships. Unfortunately, everyone is super busy. They're trying to put out projects. That's why today we were awarded projects in Florida and California simultaneously because the government is just putting out projects. We have people on our team that work inside of the government and they're reviewing technical proposals every day all week that's where everyone's focus is until the fiscal year ends so this is not the best time to start trying to build relationships i'd wait till october but at the same time you could do all the planning right so figure out who the people you should be talking to get their information track it down pull down a list of the upcoming projects the forecast for 2021 right because 2020 is gone now we're going to 2021 pull down a list of upcoming projects and opportunities and start seeing where you can position yourself, your company, and align with some of those projects. And then that way, when the government comes back from hiatus, right, then you can start setting up meetings and talking to them. In fact, if you go on my YouTube channel, I have a video. It's called What Activities Should You Be Doing in the Month of October, right? So I put that out for 2019. But it's the same activities in 2020 because it's October again, and these are the activities that you should be doing. So I just, I actually just sent that to one of our interns who asked, well, what should people do in October? I go, actually, I have a video called what to do in the month of October. So take a look at that video. It gives you all that information that you're asking for because, again, people have already done it. All right, so maybe I don't do a good job enough of promoting, but people are asking me, do you have a course? I want a structured curriculum. I like what you're doing. I like the IG. I like the YouTube. Visit us over at govconedu.com to find out all of our offerings. For one low price, you can get more than a dozen courses that we teach, from proposal writing to subcontracting, uh, prime, becoming a prime contract, becoming a subcontract, becoming a consultant. If you want to do IT or staffing or janitorial, we talk about all these things inside of our platform over at govconedu.com. That's G-O-V-C-O-N-E-D-U.com.